Welcome back to Full Scholarships live video series. We will discuss about the Dodd Scholarship in Germany and this is for the masters and doctoral students. So those who wish to pursue masters and doctoral studies in Germany, they can apply for this Dodd Scholarship. It's available in almost each country and they have offices as well. So before we discuss about this scholarship in Germany, let me remind you to subscribe our YouTube channel Full Scholarships and also follow us on instagram so the scholarships are posted daily on instagram page as well as youtube so the link for this dodd scholarship in germany is given in the youtube video description check out the link in the video description below click on the apply link in the top of the description and it will take you to our website here once you reach on this page you can check details by yourself also you can click on the link in the instagram bio here or you can scan the qr code on posts embedded on them and you can scan the qr code and it will take you the same scholarship that the code is embedded on also you can scan the qr code on the thumbnail of the youtube videos so the scholarships that the video is shown for uh, will be taking you the same destination the code is uh, posted on the thumbnail once you reach on our website you can check details here also you can visit directly by uh, visiting our website fullscholarships.net and cashmerlook.com so here you can check the if you want to study in, on scholarship in Germany you can go through this article and also watch this video full so that you cannot miss any part of the application process so it's in depth and keep eye on this. Now here you can check the basic details that the scholarship will cover so it will be for the masters and PhD students and all the German energy institutions or universities are under this and this is a study in Germany course and different subjects are there to study so you can check the full list of postgraduate as well as the doctoral courses and deadline depends on each course as well as university as well as the Dodd scholarship and it uh, is completely dependent on the country that you are applying from then the coverage is also mentioned so you'll be receiving a compensation from 88 61 euros to 1200 euros for doctorates as well as there will be other insurance and health and other one time allowances also on this. So you will also receive monthly rent subsidy and contribution towards your uh, tuition fees as well as there is no tuition fee in Germany but still you will receive a reimbursement of euros 500 per semester. Then eligibility criteria is also listed here for masters as well as PhD and you have to go through these. Then the website to apply is given at the end so click on this apply here button once you click on that it will take you to the Dad uh, german academic exchange website this is an official government website so you can check development related postgraduate courses epos Dad scholarship program objectives who can apply uh, what can be funded duration of the funding value se uh, selection and further information in order to start applying you need to click on this application procedure here and once you do that application procedure you can check the application documents required and all details are given here. The application uh, for Dodd scholarship is given here so link is given here so Dodd application so application for a research or study scholarship please make sure you type all the answers in this application form. so to get to application form to get access to the application form and have a PDF of the writable application so click on this Dad application form link here so once you do that you can check the Dad application form application form for research grants and study scholarship is on your screen and it is of four pages and you have to fill it so uh, to fill this application you need to have the admission from any of the German institutions suppose I had chosen this TU Darmstadt University Technical University in the Germany this is one of the top institutions there and you can check the any of the universities that is that falls under the Dad uh, Union and you have to go through the admission process of that university first suppose I will be going to TU Darmstadt and this is the international admissions page so to start applying you can check here information for applicants with inter, uh, international certificates so click on this down arrow here and online application from degree program so click on again the down arrow 
there you can check whether you have a German or foreign education entrance qualification you can apply online so in order to start applying online you need to click on this button here so click on this here once you do that you can check the application for international students page is shown here and application to TU Durham start with international uh, university entrance qualifications is shown here so you have to go through the uh, this page and you can check required documents for this university admission uh, language requirements so in order to get the DART scholarship, you should have the admission from any of the universities that falls under the DART uh, affiliations. And then in order to start applying for this university to you, Durham State University, this is one of the recognizable university in the world. So click on this TUCA and application portal here. So click on this application portal in the button here. Once you click on that, you can check the a very warm welcome to the home page of the TUCA and campus management system. So this is an application portal in order to start applying. So you need to have the username and password. So let me zoom in a little bit this screen and show you the login page. So the login page is on the top right here. So where you can see the cursor is going up. It's the TU ID and the password. So how to get this ID and password to login. So you need to first create an account. So click on this TU ACN create an account here. So click on this. So after clicking on that, you can check, uh, you can create an account and once you have your username and ID like this, they will send you in, in your email. So this is the email and password that they will send you. And on upon the first time login, you have to reset the password. And this is the home page. Now you have to go to the my applications. So click on my applications and this is how it looks. So then you have to select that uh, in the down arrow here i am currently enrolled at another university so if you are from this university uh, particularly then you don't know the process so then you might be familiar with the process of the university so it if you are not enrolled in the german university or this university you need to click on this i am not enrolled at the this university but i am enrolled at another university so after that you have to click on find courses button here and courses will be shown so then you can filter the subjects admission restriction degree type suppose you can go with the bachelor's master's phd but right now you can apply for any of this uh, admission process but scholarships are available for masters and phd particularly as in the dad form so click select masters or uh, phd then click on search button and the subjects should show so you can check different subjects are there aerospace engineering and other different courses are there to study so in order to start applying you can just choose any of the subjects and suppose i will go this first here so click on the apply button here and do apply for the admission first as uh, in the course that you have chosen for then once you fill this uh, application you have to fill out the dad scholarship form here so starting with the name nationality so this is the writable form you can write it on and simply the nationality then you have to tick the course that you are applying and asking the scholarship for and you can tick out it here you can check then followed by the photograph uh, name full name address correspondence address high school details university details subject details degrees that you had and the contact details of the institutions uh, any of the uh, joint degrees you have attended then uh, your uh, attach the uh, pre uh, precise uh, research proposal then the uh, academic fields that you had completed your previous degree on and all the related fields must be filled as per the degree information as per the passport and as per the certifications or transcripts that you had previously in the meantime you can check that the application form for this ms or masters is shown on the university website and you can click on this start the application and here you can check uh, you have to start the application first fill all the details choose the study program questions asked you have to answer them and then at the end you can uh, do uh, click on this submit button which was shown here so here you can check i have started the application but i have not submitted yet once you do submit there will be submission option and a current status is open 
here you can check submit button so once you fill all the details here and you have to click on this submit and your application will be sent to the university and there is uh, the details that you fill here you need to fill the same details on this the scholarship form that you are asking this scholarship for and the most important part where to send this uh, this dodge scholarship form where do you will send this scholarship form so how to send this so you have to forward this scholarship form in the documents here so click on my documents then uh, once you fill the application they will ask for the documents here once you submit this application they will ask for the documents so with the same documents you have to send this dodge scholarship form as well so it's clearly mentioned here so let me show you that so send you send your complete application directly to the according postgraduate course so this is the course that we applied and suppose we have sent this application so then you have to send the complete application to the same a selection committee will suggest the potential candidates for the scholarship the suggested candidates will be contacted by the to upload their complete application to the dart portal and the uh, selection process will be finalized so there are two options for you to follow first you need to complete the admission process to the university any german university upload documents there get the admissions then you have to fill this form and keep it ready and this university should nominate your name to the dad and you have to ask them so in the documents you have to upload the dad scholarship form as well so once you get nominated then the dad scholarship will send your email and then you have to upload this form to the dad scholarship as well so you have to upload this form two times first to the university then second to the dad and then you have to follow the admissions and do check out the emails for the acceptances and if you have doubts starting from the video so you can ask in the comment section and we are there for you so in the meantime do subscribe to our youtube channel for scholarships and also uh, follow us on instagram again reminding you the link for these scholarships are given the youtube video description or the instagram bio or directly visit the website fullscholarships.net or scan the qr code here and hope you enjoyed this video have a nice day ahead